Hello, and welcome to another Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I'm not sure where I was. Oh, I was at the Jedi Academy. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is a manual save I want to go to. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, oh, my fan's really loud. Well, hopefully Audacity will cut that out. All right, so we're coming up on a really interesting scene here. Are you a Not this one. How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Mm. What are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Mm. I will protect you when your fellow settlers. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Okay. The way you want me to do it's not very good, but I should probably do it. Let's check out pretty much everyone around here before I move on. Luca and Gar. Okay, let's talk to Gar. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? I'm merely an apprentice, not a Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the council require our presence? I'm sorry, I do not know. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Uh, what can you tell me about Dantooine? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Oh, well, the ones you're most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Yurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Do something? Has something happened? Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Yurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too. But he disappeared. Yurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Uh, I must be going now. Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yeah. May the force be with you. Okay. Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. I found Nemo. I'm done. I beat it. Found Nemo. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? I have been given a task by the council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? What do you know of the Tainted Grove? The council has told you nothing of the grove? I know it is tainted by the dark side. Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of Cathowns. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? That, I, when, when he goes in front of the sun, it, like, it actually shows sun graphic, the sun, uh, the, it actually looks really nice. 
graphically when his head goes in front of the sun and back. Uh, I have a question about Dantween. Very well. What is it you wish to know? I've heard people mention Mandalorians. Mandalorian raiders, yes. They have been preying on the settlers in the surrounding farms, stealing food, money, weapons. John was hit really hard recently. He lost his daughter. They were not a problem before, but now it would seem prudent to be rid of them. If you could accomplish this, it would not harm your training, and the settlers would greatly appreciate it. John is currently waiting to petition the council. He is on the path north of here. He might be able to tell you more about what had happened. Can I help with anything else? I would like to know about you. About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? Mm. Well, who are you, first of all? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. You are a Jedi? Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. So I might be wrong about this, but I think that this game came out before Jedi apprentices were known as Padawans. Or the term Padawan was really new when it came out, so they just called them apprentices instead. Uh, are you a member of the Council? I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? I must be going now. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. As do I, because it's a required segment. Mission seems rather distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Okay. Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to talk to you about your brother. I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. Why is his name so close to Griff? I don't, I don't understand. Uh... You don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. No, I, I want to tell you. Salvar's a great listener, but it might be nice to talk about this with someone who doesn't reply and growls and grunts. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in the Starfreighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? She said, here to Taurus, because it's assuming I'll have this conversation on Taurus, but it can happen anywhere. Wow, she's standing really far away from me when I started that. You were stowaways? I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. He's family. You have to stick by your family. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Without my brother, I don't know where I'd be. He gambled and drank, and... He was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. Of course. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. He showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance code, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Th those are pretty handy skills to have in the Star Wars universe, I have to say. So, pretty handy skills to have, Mission. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. Keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. Why did he leave? He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. Who's Lena? I don't want 
I talk about Griff and Luna, just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. Have it your way. Intergalactic what now? Say what? <laughs> okay then. Uh, let's go to this side. Just a Jedi. Oh, me. Ah uh, yes, you are a Jedi. I am grateful that your people harbor me in my times of need. Times? Plural? What happened to you? I am a victim. A refugee, yes. I flee. Plug from my world once the Sith fleet once the Sith fleet comes. I miss the rest. They scour the continents, boil the oceans, Sith are bad. But I run here, find the Jedi already here, unknown. They take me in. The Republic fights but does not win, not you to blame, of course. No, the Sith are strong and destroy those who would oppose them, yes. My thanks to you. <laughs> My thanks you have and your order. Is there anything else you require? I must be going now. I mean, reading it without saying it out loud was fine. Yes, yes, Jedi, I always have more to attend to. Good day, friend Jedi. See, that last one was long, but the other ones were, like, just reading it, like, not reading aloud, just reading it normally. I could have done that, but reading aloud, that was way too fast. Which is weird, because usually it's like, uh, well, I guess I'm used to Ithorians a lot, because, because of Knights of the Old Republic 2. But, uh, usually you get through the text and you just sit there waiting for the sound bite to finish, and it's faster to just skip it. I'm going to say real quick, just to be safe. Nothing should happen here. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not closed. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Could it have been Cathounds? Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Could it have been opened from the inside? Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Your missing companion is a droid. Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid? He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. I will help you find your droid. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. The only reason you could tell I'm a Jedi is that I'm holding a lightsaber. I mean, come on. I'm not even wearing robes because I don't have any. I can't use cure or burst of speed with regular armor on, so I have to be wearing clothes. Oh, here we go. Calf hounds. I'm going to name that one Jeff, that one Jenny, that one George, and the last one, Zalzabar. Zalzabar. Okay, it's not the same. <laughs> I'll change it to Zazzles anyways, because he's Zazzy. Okay. Oops. I meant to hit triggers. That's okay, I'm going to do this. 
I didn't want to switch targets anyways. I would have done that. You are switch targets thing. Okay, I should be using regular attacks. Keep forgetting that. Because it gives me negs, and I don't have that high of a strength. To begin with. Okay, that's an exit. This continues over here. Let's check the exit first. Keep trying to look up and down, and you can't in this one. This is the Metale grounds. I don't want to go that way yet. Were there any remains on these guys? Oh, right, there's the merchant. This merchant has something really nice on him. Greetings, fellow sentient. I noticed that you are not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. Please allow myself to introduce myself. I am Adum, a simple merchant with a much noble purpose. Well, please allow myself to... Purpose? Yes, purpose. The settlers and noble humans of Dantooine have been plagued by cat hounds, raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people at this as this. Therefore, I have made this my mission to be. Er, mission? To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest of quality of weapons at the lowest of low of prices for them. I am here offering you much in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. How can any sentient pass up such a bargain? They cannot. He should be a Toydarian. Weaponry it is, and weaponry I have. This is what you would like from me this fine day. What is it you would like from me this fine day? Ugh. Let me see what you're selling. If I see any snake oil, I am leaving. No snake oil. Yes, yes, here's the best you can find anywhere on this world. Okay, there's the war suit. So this is like some legendary item. And this is Cassus Fett's battle armor. So this is just like some, well, it's not like, this isn't legendary. This is just rare and expensive. This is legendary armor. I mean, look at this. 10 defense bonus. It's just straight up, just get 10 defense bonus. Your decks can be bad, it's just 10. Which actually isn't as good as some other armor. Actually, no, it looks like everything's just 10. Never mind. Um, then you get resist 10 versus cold, resist 10 versus fire, resist 10 versus sonic, and it's upgradable. The armor of Cassus Fett, the most wanted man in known space, famous for killing the captain of a flagship Republic frigate at the Battle of Joggers Cluster, he is presumed dead. So this is an ancestor, obviously. Well, I don't know. Nice, the old Republic's pretty. Yeah, a distant ancestor of Django and Boba Fett. And I don't think I've ever legitimately had enough credits at this point in the game to buy it. Let's see if I can do something about that. I need those, though. Davik's war suit. I'm not using it. But no, I don't think I can get it up to 15,000 credits. No. I really doubt it. No. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> as much as that would be awesome. Sorry, I'm sure I'll need that money for something else later. Uh, got close enough to the Cath Hound. Yeah, let's take it down. So I should hit more... Um, blah, 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 blah. More often, or more reliably, with the regular attack. Because, uh... What is that? It's a Horned Cath Hound. That doesn't look anything like a Cath Hound. And the regular ones have horns. Whatever. You're totally the, uh, um, whatever beast that is from the prequels. I mean, not quite, but pretty similar. Mm. 
you know, one of the ones that in the arena in uh, was that Clone Wars? Begun the Clone Wars half. Um, but yeah. Yeah, because it was on Geonosis, so it must have been Clone Wars. I forget which which What did I go for? I did go for Consular. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a lot of like force powers. Uh, and I'm also trying to stay legitimate light side route, so I'm not going to be using what I normally do, which is force lightning all the way. Definitely need to heal after this. Now that we're actually all focused on this guy, we should be fine. Well, we're not getting much experience for this, are we? Oh, Zalbar needs healing too. It's fine, I'll just do this a couple times. Wait for some mana styles regeneration. Um, I could walk around a little bit just to do something. Oh! Aha! I'll use this as soon as I have enough force points. I don't know how quickly they regenerate in battle, though. Really? There we go, 18. Yeah, so lightsabers do a lot of damage, but they have to actually hit. <laughs> That's the problem I'm having, is not hitting with them. Uh, should I change my party up? No, they get stun-locked anyways during the fight. Alright, let's do that. I do like this uh, grove sequence though, because it really sets you up for either light side or dark side immediately after becoming a Padawan. I don't even have a specific master though, so I guess apprentice makes more sense at that point, but like, there's nothing traditional about this Jedi training that you're on right now. Whatsoever. I can't go in here yet, but I'll trigger this. Strange ruins. Attempt to open. This heavy stone door is sealed. The door is too thick to be cut through with a lightsaber. That is false. On a very basic level of you can just carve it out in pyramid shapes until you get through it. But it's basically just saying you shouldn't go here yet. Because you shouldn't go there yet. <laughs> I don't know how well you can read my... Oh, does... Do they both go to the same place? Oops. If I had a keyboard, I would press M. Uh, yeah, they go to the same... Well, one of them goes to the Metale grounds, and the other one goes to the other group. Um, oh, I was going to say about my posters. One, my cam's on. Hello. I'm sure you noticed. Uh, two, this poster. I don't know how well you can read it, but it says, Whatever doesn't kill you gives you XP. It's got the Dungeons and Dragons dragon in the back. And then this one says, How I roll with a sword and a, a rod, focus rod. And it's a d20, and all the sides say 20. <laughs> yeah, that's better, right? You think? But, um,. I got those, and I decided why not use my cam. I have them in the background. We're not. I'm not going to be using my cam for RPG night um, stuff unless uh, everyone else starts using their cams. And if, even if I do that, they won't be able to see me because cam can only work in one program at a time. Uh, so unless I get like another cheap camera and use that for Skype so they can see me, there's no point. Also, I think Alex uses his phone most of the time, so that wouldn't work either. Uh, 
Horned cat hounds, their HP is so... Why can't I look behind me? Oh, it's because it's the focus thing. Okay. How close am I to leveling with this character? If I keep getting 200 at a time, it's going to be a while. Definitely need to increase my strength stat. Shouldn't be dropping anything until I talk to someone specific. Uh, can I go into the crystal cave over here? Is it over here? No, it's not over here. I can't ever remember this map. It's different a little bit uh, in this game. Wow. Does that show up on... Show up every time I do this? No? The screen's acting weird. And I can't tell if it's... Why it's doing that. There, I did that time, and I saw it on the recording. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, okay, that's new. Well, it might be new, it might not be new, and I just... Okay, I guess if you don't have the link texture for that, that's the best you can do. But you could have made that texture. Come on. Okay, this leads to... The Grove. Alright, I'll save. If I die horribly in here, I will go back to this save and grind some more cat hounds. Try to level up. Probably could have used my triggers instead of running like that, but eh. I suppose I can clear out quite a few cat hounds before I get to the uh, big fight up here anyways. Go into combat. Don't stand there. Oop. Ah. That one. You don't want uh, our ranged person getting completely destroyed. Oh, that's not good either. Now let's heal a little bit and go back to fighting. Okay, she killed it. I don't know why it wasn't attacking me. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to have my cam when I do Octopath Traveler. Okay, I need to just sit here and regenerate some health. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Well, I need to regenerate force powers, because I don't want to waste items when I don't have to. So I'm going to wait for my force points, and then I'll start healing Zalbar. While I'm doing... While that's happening, I'm going to get a drink of water, because I don't have anything to drink right here. So, yeah. I'm still alive. Oh. barely reach my sink with this on. Ah, that's better. I do not have space on my desk for this. Let me move my pens and pencils here. There we go. Backpack visible? Yes. Kind of. That's fine. Uh, I'm usually in the way. Right. Okay. I'll deal with that later, I guess. Oh, wow. They all regenerated during that time. 
fine. Okay. Med pack, advanced. Oh, I have a regular med pack. So I'll borrow you using. Hold on, what is your health look like, Svalbar? Vitality, 128. Well, that would do it. <laughs> okay, that way is to the actual part of the grove, right? I don't know anymore. Okay, that's the part of the grove I want to go to to do the fight. So if we're going to get some experience, we want to go this way first. I think. Yeah, that's the area with the fight. Okay. Back over where I was looking is the correct fight area. Huzzah! Party member down. Oh, mission went down. That's bad. Zalvar's starting to go down. That's really bad. Okay. Okay. We should be fine. I definitely need to make sure I go into fights with full force points now, though. And I don't have to use the emergency med pack, so we're good. You're going, Zalbar. Zalbar, no! Zalbar, no! Get back over here. If I, if I go far enough away, he should disengage. Or not. Whatever, I'm not in combat, so I'm regenerating force points. I don't think he'll re-engage when he gets back up. Could be wrong. Let's mission get back up. There's no permadeath in this one, so... This isn't actually d and Or, not actually the Star Wars RPG. But Okay, where is the mission? Right here. Why aren't you getting up? Why aren't they getting up? <sighs> Maybe it's because there's an enemy nearby Zalbar? I don't know. But before I go over there to try to save him by myself, one, I'm gonna save in a new slot. Two, I'm gonna fully heal <laughs> first. <laughs> Something that I'm really bad at doing, apparently. Yeah, because I don't need to use med pack items outside of battle, I'm not going to use med pack items outside of battle. How many force points do I even have total? 50. Okay, so that's why they're regenerating seemingly quickly. I just don't have that many. You get X amount per second. Don't remember how much. I just know that you get X amount per second. Where is this? I need to clean some stuff off my desk, apparently. Set it. And right now. Yeah. Heal again. Why is all my South Reaches notes? They're all just on my desk. We're not doing South Reaches this weekend. Ooh. South Reaches stuff, yeah. Okay. There are all in clear folders. Alright. I'm sure I want to see. Since I have some time, now I just have to wait for his force points to completely regen. Let's see something here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Do do do. Magic items. 
random locations. Hmm. Ah yes, the whisper weapon, that would be great. So since I have a little bit of time, just waiting here, I'm going to read off the description of my uh, whisper weapon. Um, you get a random weapon, yeah. with magic item of course, since I didn't preface with that. Preface? Preface? Pretty sure it's pronounced preface. Uh, but what you do is you get is you roll this magic item on my roll tables and you get and then you have to roll a weapon or if you're nice you can just grab something that player is proficient with which I'm nice so I'll probably just do that um, when the weapon is unsheathed it gains one of the effects below until it's sheathed again this weapon requires attunement and is cursed only the character attuned to it can hear the whispers so there are four five six seven nine different options so you roll, so if you were doing this physically you'd roll a d10 and re-roll on a 10 but since it's in roll 20 I'd probably just roll a d9 because it's the same thing um, on the first one it whispers where you should strike you get a plus one to hit option two whisper oh the first one was when you should strike plus one to hit the second one is where you should strike, plus one to damage. I know I'm refilled, but I need to. I'm, I'm going to finish this first. Uh, the third option, or the third thing on the table, is whisper s spells. Cast a random damage cantrip when it strikes. Use the player's int for saving rolls. That's. I didn't write down those cantrips yet. Hopefully, nobody rolls this. Um, whispers compliments to you when you killed something no stat effect is the fourth one the fifth one is whispers to fallen enemies with a five percent chance to raise them as an undead with the same stats and allied with the character the undead dies in the next one minute player controls the actions i know it's not quite clear in that wording but they come back with full hp they're basically charmed they're undead and they last for a minute so they'll last through the combat and a little bit after but that's it. So you, I'd roll a d20 and on a 20 they'd come back to life, to undeath. They, they'd rise in undeath. Um, the sixth one is Whispers Facts About Enemies, which is a plus one to hit and a plus one to damage. So it's the combination of uh, Whispers when and where you should strike. Uh, the next one is, it sings Flanders Fields every time the character kills, for no stat effect. In Flanders Fields the poppies grow, in Flanders Fields the poppies grow between the crosses, row on row that march, mark our place, and in the skies the lark still bravely singing fly. Uh, and then number eight is, it sings Loch Lomond every time the character kills. Uh, also for no stat effect. And the last one is it nags the player to destroy evil, but has no concept of what evil is. Also no stat effect. Although for some of these I might, if we do sanity, which we might be doing sanity at some point, uh, we're going to add in that one of these probably get, probably the undead one can damage sanity. Um, and then the nag is the player to destroy evil that has no concept of what evil is. Might. Or I, I might put another one in there that says it whispers facts about Cthulhu or something. About the great old one. Alright. I'm actually gonna. Of course I move my pencil and stuff. Whispers about it's it's auto combat right now, so I'm doing nothing. Okay. Uh, there should be more enemies. There we go. Ooh, that could be bad. Oh well.
whispers truths about the great old one. One D four. No, one D two. Sanity damage. When it strikes. And I'm also going to change the wording on this. Oh, you stood up finally. Did they both stand up? They both stood up. I just had to finish off the enemies in the area. I'm going to do the same thing, though. So, uh, below. For the remainder of combat. There we go. So now I have added the tenth effect, which is it whispers truths about the great old one. 1d2 sanity damage when it strikes an enemy or a, a creature. Strikes a creature. Um, and then I changed the wording on the original thing. So when the weapon is unsheathed, it gains one of the effects below for the remainder of combat. So you unsheath it for the remainder of that combat encounter, you are stuck with whichever one it rolls. So you can't put it back and pull it back out. Uh, you only get the one for the remainder of combat. And of course, the reason it's cursed is because it. Uh, one, two, three. Five of the ten are good. Um, and uh, four of the ten do nothing. And now one of them deals sanity damage. So that's nice. I need to update the doc for that too so I can, if I print that out to update it it will be updated. Okay let's heal. Yeah. Might as well see if there's any other stuff I can do. I'm not doing South Reaches again for a while anyways but you know. Might as well have some fun with it. There, do something while I'm waiting is what I should say. Salabar's gonna take a while to uh, heal up there. Wait. Maybe this is a... No, that's mission. Or no, not, no, mission's behind me. That's a NPC that's not the person that I'm gonna fight. Okay. See, I updated that already in the dock. That I updated in the dock. I updated that in the dock. Oh, it's Keftig's, Keftig's character sheet. Well, that's going in the trash. It's Aaron's unupdated character sheet. Right? It says he's still level 1. That's wrong. I don't want to spend the time to update that. I'm going to move the custom magic items into their own folder then. So that they're separate from the magic item tables. So I'm not accidentally grabbing them to... Unless we actually roll one of them, then I can switch over to this folder. Okay. Let's do that a couple more times. I'll go talk to this NPC now. Oh, it's oh, it's another battle. Okay, we're not going over there yet, guys. Thought it was just the NPC. Oh no, that's a Duro. I wonder if his name's Tazi. Some ancestor. Yeah. 
Do, do. Hmm. The slow walk into the sunset. Right, there's that fight. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna go see if I can do that fight. How long have I been? Almost an hour. There has been a lot of waiting around too. Okay, so this is a Mandalorian melee shield. That actually would be really good for this. That's why it's there. I want to be able to sh to heal. So. Oh wait, really? Plus two versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Oh, okay. I did not know you could do that. Oh, it did that weird thing again with the screen. Um, so it removes some of the penalty for being used in the offhand. Let's just save. Again. I know I just did. Let's activate the arm shield before going into the cutscene. Yeah. And then go into the cutscene. So she's a Cathar, which is a feline-like humanoid. I really don't know why she says that, either. Just attack. Alright, those both miss. Her name is Juhani. Alright, I'm getting some damage on her, at least. Maybe we can get to an actual cutscene. No, don't cancel my normal attack. Come on, cutscene. There we go. Who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embraced the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embraced the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. But now I rally in my dark power, power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. The dark side is never powerful enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? I just want to talk. Talk? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire to kill you, Juhani. You... you do not. I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I have always thought they held me back. Were jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Uh, come now, Juhani. You are be a beautiful young woman who has much talent. You think compliments will convince me I didn't kill my master? Leave me to my agony. Okay. I'm gonna talk to her again if I can. What is it you want? I have fallen. The dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council. So here, I shall stay. Yes. No, no, no. Rise. 
Leave me and come back when you have the food. Okay, what are stupid rolls? Okay. Let me save here and go down some of these other routes to see if I have other options. Obviously, I don't want to say the first thing, which is I was sent. Okay, so you don't have to persuade her. The first step on the path of true knowledge is knowing that you are ignorant. I seem to still have much to learn, both about the Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Even the death of course will allow her in life is a living experience, your master could mean in this country. Even in death, the force will allow her to live on. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Inger, show them that you have freed yourself of this base passion. If I show them, I am free of passion. That I am serene. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. Maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could this be possible after what I have done? Your inner peace and harmony will show them your sincerity. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me again. I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Okay. Does she not join my party this way, or...? I feel like the persuasion route is how she joins your party. A couple med packs. I suppose if I needed them, that would have been great to go over to. There's no way I can take on the Mandalorians without uh, at least healing first. She might not join the party now. I don't know. Uh, I do know I want to save, though. If she doesn't end up joining the party, I just didn't have a high enough persuasion. Because I know if you go through the persuade stuff, she does join the party. Mantine, what are you doing in the sky? You're a water type. Okay, I'm mostly healed. I want to take on these Mandalorians, but I don't want to take on these Mandalorians, but I want to take on these Mandalorians. Uh. Actually. To do party screen. Can I? Oh, I can. All right, what equipment do you have on you, Canvas? Ordo of the Clan Ordo. Let's give you that. Give you that. You have that weapon. Looks good for you. Okay, give you that then. Of course, you can level up. Attributes. You have such a high strength, but you're a dex character. Or no, no, heavy weapons use strength. <laughs> heavy ranged weapons use strength. What am I talking about? Uh, awareness, uh, repair, security, treat injury. He has a high treat injury. Does this? Yes, it does affect med packs. Okay, I'm gonna give him demolition though. Let me get over here. We got. Okay, I already have all of those. Let's see, you have 
We'll give you that because that makes sense with the weapon you have. Yes. Self, we are going to wait for our force powers to be regenerated. And then heal self and then go into battle. Good. Oh, that's Alex. He's online. He's probably getting onto uh, Minecraft. Or something. Which we're not doing right now, obviously. Oh, there's Mantine again. Thinking it's, uh, it's uh, not a fish. No, 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 no. No, no. I wanted to see Mantine. Where'd Mantine go? Need a Pokeball. No, okay. Mantine fled. Uh, well, I have Candrus with me. Should be okay. I also have one heal. Wow, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I see that in the mid-pack. Let's go fight the guy with the gun. Yeah, he wasn't a Mandalorian, so... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Hold on, I have to get far enough away for it to cancel combat mode. Canceling combat actions. Well, cancel combat. Like, why am I still... Ugh. I can't look where I'm going. I can hardly even see where I've been. Okay, I guess I can look at the mini-map. If I'm not being a dumb dumb. Okay, let's take out the Duro. No, the Duro. Thank you. You know, maybe I should use their shields against them. Now that I think about it. Nope, okay. <laughs> it's a good thing I saved. Seven twenty-two. That's it. Save before. Hold on. Save before I put Candrus in my party. Okay, that's fine. We'll head back to the uh, academy now. Well, that reminds me of a really the eh, game. Control-wise, the, the Jedi Academy was a great game. But the controls were, were lacking. Use the old, like, uh, slash with your lightsaber using the right stick. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that should say horned, as in H-O-R-N-E-D, cathound. Instead of horned cathound. There's another cat hand. Oh, that's right. I haven't fin finished exploring this map. I actually want to real quick. Get some experience. Maybe head back to the Mandalorian area. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it's Dex Aesir. I always forget what my character's name is. Alright, how close are we now? Just over 5,000 experience away. Are there enough calf hounds in existence for that? 
I'm also looking for a lost droid. Just leave that on that for now because I'm going to be using cure a few times here. I think it's cure, then heal, then something else. Scripts, no. Actually, I might need to. Character will use grenades in combat when appropriate. They will try to avoid catching other party members in the blast, and they won't waste a grenade if there is only one target. Otherwise, set her as a grenadier. Makes sense, and then, okay. Sure. There's a droid here. It's not the one that the person's looking for. This is combat droid. That head looks oddly like a Mandalorian helmet. Pass card required to enter, okay. At least we're moving around and not just standing still waiting for force points. Geez, Zalbar's still not full health. Probably need to up my uh, Jedi-related stats, I guess. Also, I need to engage in daily physical training. In other words, I need to get the uh, talent that increases my health. Or, not talent. This looks like another Mandalorian fight ahead. Wife and children instead. Anything. Wow. <laughs> uh, wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Well, these Mandalorians are completely honorless. At least there's only one Mandalorian this time instead of like three and two Duro. Like multiple Duro is much better. I mean, Duros is singular, because it's a Duros. Is it a whole bunch of Duro, or a whole bunch of Duros? I feel like it's a whole bunch of Duro. Okay. General entry added, I'll look at that in a little bit here. Okay, I'll take all that stuff. What do you have for me? Blaster Carbine. Eh. Okay, journal. You've encountered some of the Mandalorian raiders plaguing Dantween and slain them. They did not seem as organized or as powerful as you had been led to believe. Perhaps you have not yet met their most powerful members. That is very true. These are the easy fight guys. Going for about an hour. I think I'll finish... Uh, well, I want to do a specific event actually trying to find it this actually go anywhere oh this goes to the grove that's the other side of those mandalorians i don't want to go there yet oh there's something in my eye okay that's better this goes to the courtyard wait am i missing somewhere 
path south as Tony State Path. Hey, where's this go specifically? I feel like I'm missing something here. Oh. Okay, so Strange Ruins, path south. Okay, so one of these paths south does not go to the grove. Right? Oops. No. That one over there. Okay, let's just see where this leads. Well, now that we're completely healed up. Oops. Do not load. Save. Hey, it tells me to save often in different slots. I'm doing so. Alright, let's see if this is actually the other side of those Mandalorians, or if it's a different place. It's a different place, okay. Oh, it's the other side of the grove. Perfect. Actually, yeah, let's hit that one. Because I can just head straight south and go where I want to. Time to get some experience for arbitrating disputes. Well, not disputes, but... I know the true ending. But I want to run through the puzzle, of course. I don't want to just go and say, hey, it's both of them because of this. I want to actually... I'm actually going to take notes. See if... Uh, the last time I did this, I just ran through it and it was like uh, it was probably this guy's fault and I just said that and I gave the reasons but it, it's really more complicated than just it's one guy's fault Sandal grounds okay I think what I want to do is go this way and there will be a bridge yeah this is it okay so I'll s I don't need to save Apprentice, your arrival here is well-timed. Who are you? I am Baluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. I'm gonna call him Baloo now. Communication does not pose a problem, as both the suspects and I speak basic and hut ease. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. There's only one comma in that giant sentence. Though you are not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. What do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives both at the both at the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you. There is a little there is little benefit if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you have gathered all of the evidence you think you need, run through the possible scenario with me. If you are unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark, strong clouds, as it was earlier today, but that is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. A dead man, called Renetic, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. The other two men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Hand in Gold. He was unarmed. The other was Rickard Lusoff, he, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accuse the other. Obviously, is there, there is more to this than what we have been told. Is there anything else I should know? There's one last thing. When I was arrived, Handon was holding his side and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. Handon's side, Rickard. Handon's side. 
Flickered. Leg. I did not catch the rest, but I'm pretty sure he just told me to get on with the investigation. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm handing duel. Perhaps you've heard of me? Should I have? Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rock south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, let's look at the body. Apparently shot from the... Okay, it doesn't give me any more information. I'm not close enough from him to just trigger it. Now I am. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He thinks dumb. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Then maybe we can just arrest everyone, including the droid and the dead person. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner hand into the prison he belongs in? Over body. Alright, check with the droid. Do do do. Greetings, attendants. You must be the one Master Baluk has a good second time to this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Cole that the central government facilities now in Dantine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cole the Necky, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Necky. Is there any information you require? All of it. Okay. Uh, what did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by sending energy gloves to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Go by energy blast. Um, tell me about these planes. These planes are like with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriaz are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cathounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogs attacks on Kepler by cathounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago. To carry a weapon at all times when on the plane. Small farms and holdings stop the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Carry weapon. At all times on the plane. Let's see here. Handon was unarmed. If I remember incorrectly, uh, I will have more questions later. I need to remember to finish reading that before I just. Okay, so let's talk to Handon. How can I be a further assistant? Uh, you're holding your side. Are you injured? It, injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bat, though. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned it. Okay. Denies it. Denies it is hurt. Alright. How can I be a further assistant? Why were you out here? 
I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> mm, you're holding your side, or injured. Mm -hmm. Same thing. That's all for now. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. It's denying his side was hurt. Let's talk to Rickard. Why were you out here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the eerie ass was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with it, so can I go now? Uh... May have shot him accidentally. So, what do you want to know? Baloo said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Says sprained ankle. So, what do you want to know? I don't know. Then nothing more right now. Let's talk to the information droid again. Is there any other mm -hmm. I have more questions later. I will be here. How can I be a further assistant? Mm -hmm. Nothing more of right course. now. Okay, talk to the master. Uh, hey, Baloo. Yes, is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? I want to discuss the murder. Very well, you should, we should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt resolve the case. And in Simon, only to find, yes. I said Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks holding the blaster in the sand. He saw one through the glare of the sun and shot at it. It is possible that Rickard may have shot Kelder accidentally and Andon may have found the body, but that seems a little unlikely. It's more likely that at least one of them is lying. One of these men is not telling us something. Handon is lying. He didn't mention the weapon found by the body. He's in... He didn't deny it was there either. Okay. Okay, let's... It was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Oh. But it was cloudy. Ah, there we go. It was cloudy. That's something I didn't write down, of course. It was clouded this morning. If it had been, happened, as Rickard said, there would not have been sun visible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. Seems I've been correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This lie doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. We should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about their relationship with the victim. Did anything else need? Okay. Let's start with Handon again. How can I be a further assistant? Why would someone want to kill him? Um. Well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing would make me want to kill him. I want to ask you something else. How can I be a further assistant? 
Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. There's a man time. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. It's all for now. Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Okay. Talk to you. So, what do you want to know? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. I want to ask you something else. So, what do you want to know? Uh, why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. So, what do you want to know? Baluk said you were limping, are you hurt? Well, uh, kind of. Right. Talk to the droid. Is there any other information? Tell you, tell me about Calder and Handon. The southward speed of info business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder has been rented by Mr. Medic and Mr. Bowie. Is there any other information you need? Okay. How about Calder and Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garan spaceport, they have been accused of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, Mr. R. Winsock was making accusations that Mr. C. Metnick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Pupa was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Mm -hmm. Bad business deal. Uh, what was the other one? The Southwood Speeder Rental oh. Business and Records. They the rented seven speeders seven together. Alright, talk to Mr. I didn't hardly know him. How can I be a further assistant? New Calder better than you admit you rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Uh why would you punch his face in? My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed. As I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Okay. So, what do you want to know? Thought so Calder was cheating on it. Was cheating you. Now I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between you. Right. Okay. To discuss the murder. Told me you barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rigger didn't know any business. Kind of long fight. Well, on the surface, neither man seems to have a motive for killing Calder. He knew his wife was cheating on him. Certainly, in the case is taking shape. However, you mustn't jump to any area. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. Might want to see what information the witnesses 
and the information where we can provide you about the blast we've done near the body. Uh, I'll remain here. First, the droid for the information about the blaster. Just tell me about the weapon. Weapon was not the victims. Hinden. How can I be a further assistant? What do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eria can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further assistant? All right, he's claiming it was stolen from him. Uh, you wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. I could block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. I'm not, I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he's not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving. I was just out running. Okay. Try and then it repeats. Of course. Of course. Now let's talk to Rickard. Wait, fish face. So, what do you want to... Uh, what, do you, what about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So, what do you want to know? Now, I don't love Calder. We've been partners in that... Okay. Right. No change there. Let's talk to Baloo. Discuss the murder. So the lesser could be linked to anyone. I'm afraid that is not very helpful. Let me get more information. Let me actually ask if he... Is there a report of the blaster being stolen? Okay. How can I be a further assistant? Of course, of course. Blue. To discuss the murder. He lied about it being stolen. It was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis. Perhaps you could inquire. Tell me about the blood sample. Okay, so I know whose blood sample it is. How can I be a further assistant? Injured? Of course. Okay. Alright, he says he's not injured. Let's. So, what do you want to. Mm. Right. Okay. I send the blood on a belongs to the victim, but I want to be thorough. It did not belong to the victim. Yeah, he is clutching his side. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There is blood. Handon appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It would seem there is one logical scenario. Handon killed Calder for having an affair with his wife. Rickard was out hunting and accidentally shot Handon after he had killed Calder. They are both guilty. A bold conclusion. 
one most people would not arrive at. But we are not like most people. We are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. We know Calder was having an affair with Handon's wife, but what possible motive could Rickard have for wanting Calder dead? He thought Calder was cheating him in business. Yes, well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning, and each plotted to kill him. Handon found him first, and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived on the scene. From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him out of in their business. Handon would have dropped his blaster, the one we found at the scene, was covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping he, hoping he could convince us it was Rickard. That is enough. The culpability of both of you in the murder, and attempted murder, of Calder Nedic is evident. Additionally, Rickard Lusoff can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of Hand and Gold. Place you both under the arrest of the Jedi Order, and we'll escort you to holding facilities in the Jedi Enclave. You have done well here. It is obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performance in this little test. Good day. And may the Force be with you. And may the Force be with you. Because that is the end of this here recording session. Yes, I'm sure I can come at this end.